Let's continue to read 1 Thessalonians chapter 3. So when we could stand it no longer, we thought it best to be left by ourselves in Athens. We sent Timothy, who was our brother and God's fellow worker, in spreading the gospel of Christ to strengthen and encourage you in our faith. Uh, to in, encourage you in your faith so that we so that no one would be in, unsettled by these trials you know quite well that we were destined for them in fact when we were with you we kept telling you that we would be persecuted and it turned out that way as you well know for this reason when i could stand it no longer i sent to find out about your faith i was afraid that in some way the tempter might have tempted you and our efforts might have been useless and so here at the beginning of chapter three paul is telling them he's revealing to them what was going on in what was known and how they were being treated, how they were, there was opposition to them even spreading the gospel message and how though the Thessalonians accept it, listen to what Paul is saying here. He said that um, uh, right here, he says, so that no one would be unsettled by these trials. Um, You know quite well that we were destined for them. In fact, when we were with you, we kept telling you that we would be persecuted, and it turned out that way, as you well know. And then he goes on to say, For this reason, when I could stand it no longer, I sent to find out about your faith. I was afraid that in some way the tempter might have tempted you, and our efforts might have been useless. Because when they were telling, there was a trying time for Paul, and remember, and they were basically telling them oh don't listen to paul uh the jew the jews who were practicing practicing judaism were saying the law you have to follow the law then you had other religions and so then they were telling they were trying to not discredit you know uh harm paul's integrity in his teaching and to the gospel and about the kingdom and so paul was worried that the tempter who is the devil right um was at work and he in which it was but the faith of the people in Thessalonica were strong they were together and so that's why Paul he said I I wanted to find out by sending Timothy by sending someone to see okay do they need more encouragement or how are they how is their um, growth in the Lord and it was and they were growing and they were growing and so what a what a wonder the Lord is that He protects His flock, even when. So that is another thing. We uh, plant the seed, right? But we may not be there through life. What we can do is pray. We can pray in the Spirit, Lord Jesus God Almighty. Thank you for the opportunity to spread your holy gospel. I pray that it is heard, it is listened to, and accepted. And with acceptance comes your growth through the Holy Spirit. Please guide them and protect them as the good shepherd you are, and bless them when those blessings are due in your time. Amen and hallelujah. So there you have it, right there. That's a prayer that we could even say, um, but I urge you to... Uh, Ask the Holy Spirit, ask the Lord for those words, because those words will just come out for you and prayer for for others. Before we go on, though, what kind of thoughts or feelings come to your mind when we read over this? How does it make you feel and what does it make you think?